Uh, this is the Algebra 2 practice test. This is question number 12. The question asked me uh, to look at a table that lists the values of radiuses of cans and then the amount of oil it takes to fill them all the way to the top. So um, they have the match. So if it has a radius of 10 centimeters, it, the amount of oil it will take is 2 liters and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the question asked me to determine w uh, which model or which function type best models the data. So if I'm doing a determination, I should just use the coefficient of determination, which in most cases in a calculator is defined by the variables r squared, or the values r squared, when I perform a regression. The first thing I need to do is put the data inside a list, which I've already done because I didn't want you to sit there and have, you have to watch me do this. So 10 is 2, 15, 4.5, just make sure you have a match. Then you can quit out. We're going to look and see which fits best. In order to do that, we're going to do specific regression types. Now, when I do a regression for a cubic regression, which is the first one, go into your stat list, go over to calculations, cubic regression, and then you need to pick the two lists. And make sure you put a comma in between them. And there it is. So you have an R squared value of 1. So this totally looks like the right answer. However, it may not be. Look at the actual values themselves, though. Do you see that the A value here is 0? Which means that the A term doesn't even need to be in there, which would make this a quadratic. So let's look at the quadratic to determine. Now this is of a cube, by the way. Let's look at that quadratic. And quit out of this. Go to the calculator and do the quadratic equation, or quadratic regression. Pick your lists. You see, you get that R squared value of 1 again. So what I'm going to do is look to see which one is the best uh, uh, analysis of the data. Well, this one, the very first term in it actually has a value. It's 0.02, which means the quadratic is probably the best fit for the data. So I'm going to circle the quadratic over the cubic because the cubic is just, it's like lip service for the idea of a cubic regression. Now let's look at a linear regression. So I'm going to go in. You don't need to hit second list, second quit like I've been doing. My calculator that I generally use, you have to hit second to get to the stats, but in this one it's backwards, so I'm just not used to this one. So linear regression, I'm going to go in and use L1. Make sure you put your comma in between your two lists and hit enter. Do you see your R squared value is 0.98? Now that's wicked strong, but it's not nearly as strong as a one-to-one -one correlation. A one-to-one -one correlation is great. So this is not it. It's not going to be linear. And finally, let's do a logarithmic. Same thing. I did it again. You think I'd learn. Here's my logarithmic regression, ln, which is natural log. I'm going to go in and do L1 and L2. I'm going to regress it. See, the R squared value here is 0.93. This is a uh, log. Its R squared value is 0.93, which isn't nearly as strong. So the, once I do all the regressions for the data, I'm going to look to see which gives me the strongest um, R squared. But I'm also going to make sure I do all of them to make sure I, uh, to determine the correct answer and be smart about what number is actually in front of the terms because you could really confuse a quadratic with a cubic and so on and so forth. But in this case, the quadratic function is the correct answer. So the answer to number 12 is H.